the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go live. Peace. Now, Fedor, so I walk with you, brother. Obviously, nowadays, uh, not fighting anymore, been retired for a while. Um, but however, you got your sons fighting now. Uh, your OBs. Look, the legacy continues. The legacy continues. Anytime I go into uh, the Fedos Fight Factory, you're in there every day. Yep. Every time a fan walks in, you're taking pictures with the fans, uploading it to Instagram. And I've seen uh, seen one of your sons fight twice now. Talk about basically um, what it means to you to have your sons in in, in the business that. Obviously, you were so successful and, and, no, 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 and no, love no. very dearly. Let me tell you something. Look, people ask me, do you want your kids to fight? I said, only if they want to. And then, and then they say, so you don't want your kids to fight? Well, only if they want to. You didn't make your kids fight? Hell no, I didn't make your kids fight. They, they go, why not? I go, let me tell you why not. We're in the best sport in the world, but this, this is the hurt sport. So if, God forbid, my son fights, and let's say he was out for 30 seconds. And 30 seconds is a long time to be out, knocked out, you know, unconscious. And and let's say, he, you know, 45 seconds. And I'm over here praying to God, please God, wake him up, please God, wake him up. And he wakes up and he says, see, this is your fucking fault. I didn't want to do this shit, this is your fault. I couldn't live with myself. They know the risks that it takes you, you have to give your life to the sport. Boxing has to be your girl. You can't cheat on your girl. You can't go out on, my, on your girl. You can't be drinking on your girl. You can't be smoking, you can't be doing drugs on your girl. You can't, or else it's not gonna work. It's a relationship. Right. You're, she has to be your wife. Your wife, you have to treat her like, you know, take care of your, take care of her. To feed her the right things. So she don't go, she doesn't get fat. You know, you don't want to get fat. No, I get you. You know, you have to be, you have to give yourself 100% to the sport. So you gotta make love to your girl. You gotta too. make love to your girl, yeah. and that's only a month before the fight. You don't, you don't make love to your girl. So a month out. A month out. All right. So I wasn't gonna bring it up. You just brought it up. I was uh, in Philly a couple weeks ago talking to Danny Garcia. You know, he just had his fight last weekend. Angel, his father, his trainer, he said two weeks out. He said anything less than two weeks, no good. But he said you can still fuck two weeks out and be okay for the fight. I don't mind. I don't. I don't want to risk it. A month for me was always on point. And whenever like my wife would come up to the camp, and then um, she'd be like, I'll uh, uh, be like, hey, come here, baby. She'd be like, baby, it's already a month ago. Oh shit. Okay, I'm sorry. Good, baby. Thank you. And my wife was the one that kept me on point with that. That's good, bro. That's good. Well, I just want to hear final prediction for Saturday night. How do you see it play out? And think, who do you feel? Who do you feel right now is in, at a disadvantage, or what needs to be done for each fighter to win that fight? I think that um, that um, uh, Abel Sanchez has gotten into Canelo's head, and which is beneficial for 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 Triple G. I'm gonna sit down and fight with them, and you know I think that if um, Canelo would just box and, and also you know put pressure at times because he was just a little bit boxing too much. He wasn't running, he was boxing. Um, I think that, that he could win the fight. You know what I mean? Um, but we have to see because, like I said, you know, um, Abel Sanchez has already gotten in, in, in Canelo's head. You can see him all mad. He's all red. He's all, you know, you're the one who, he's over there telling him, you're the only one that's talking smack, and you're the only one that, that, that I'm saying this to because you're the only one that is opening the, his mouth. Your fighter don't say nothing. So, he already got in kind of those head, which could benefit Triple G, but we'll see. Awesome. Thank you for your time, brother. What is up, TBV family? Yes, yes, YouTube has been cutting funding to uh, their channels as of late and with net neutrality uh, going through its process. The internet is changing. If you want to keep your favorite channel intact, coming up with tons of content, and plus get hours and hours of extra content, head over to patreon.com forward slash the boxing voice. Uh, to become a member of the TBV family and help support the channel. Peace.